We're out here today looking at our uh, sturgeon reef project. This is an experimental reef where we can study the reproductive uh, behavior of Atlantic sturgeon here in the river. These fish probably go back at least 120 million years. They predate the dinosaurs. The only thing that's really had a major impact on the fish, since they're so big, they're so strong, they're so armored with these bony plates on the outside, has been man. We overfished the fish back in the 1890s because of the caviar that these fish produced. It was extremely high quality caviar. And the flesh of the fish was also very good. When they smoked the fish, they called it Charles City Bacon. It's, it's really delicious. If you ever had any smoked sturgeon, it's very good, very good to eat. They were also the fish that saved Jamestown during the starving time, 1609. When the sturgeon came back into the river in the springtime, they were able to go out and catch these fish and it kept, kept the colonists from starving. In the late 1890s, the population crashed, went down to almost zero. Ten years ago, we would have said the experts told us there were no sturgeon left in the James River, but we knew that if we looked hard enough, we could find them. What you're seeing behind us right now is a barge load of uh, broken granite that came from Lux Quarry near Deepwater Terminal. That barge is about 300 feet long. It had 1,000 1, cubic yards of rock on it. The operator on there is taking his excavator, putting that rock, placing it between the orange buoys there, which gives the outline of the 70 by 300 foot reef. Sturgeon like to spawn on clean, hard, rocky bottom. They've lost a tremendous amount of this habitat over the years. And by placing this rock down there, we've got large size rocks, some as big as basketball, some as small as baseballs. But it will provide spaces for the eggs to adhere to, the juvenile fish to hatch out and get away from predators and stay, stay safe for a little bit until they get big enough to swim off. So our overall goal with this experimental project is to learn as much as we can about sturgeon, the sturgeon in the river, how they're reproducing, and then eventually to come back with a viable fishery in here so that we can have a commercial fishery again and a recreational fishery for these magnificent fish.